Yes, guys, welcome back to Warren's Removals TV. This is episode 30. On this episode, we're gonna be having a lot of fun with the staff and testing their reaction times. We're gonna be going over the business to see where we are as a company, how we're getting on, what's going on in the past months. We've got a staff member who's made his return to Warren's Removals, which is amazing. And why am I holding this newspaper? <laughs> Find out in the episode. Okay guys, welcome back to Warren's Removals TV. It is good to finally be back after a couple of months off. I've been taking a bit of time to reevaluate things, making sure that we are ready to go again. We wanna increase the content, increase the quality, and we're gonna be talking a lot about the business side of things at the same time. Okay, something I'm personally trying to get on top of is VAT. So VAT is a bit of a headache for us kind of businesses. We are a service-based industry where there's not much money you can reclaim back, especially when you compare it to your cost of sales. So our VAT bill recently, um, which was a quarter, as they always are, was unfortunately the biggest one to date. We paid £50,000, just short of £50,000 recently, um, which unfortunately I didn't really prepare for. Luckily we had the money there to pay, but what I'm trying to get on top of over the next few quarters is to make sure that I am now putting money aside to pay for these big VAT bills. Um, it's a good thing having a big VAT bill because it means that the business is performing well However, it still bites you in the ass when you don't prepare for it. So make sure that you are preparing for your VAT bills. Okay, I wanna talk about the statistics of the business and how we're getting on. So on the month I'm gonna talk about today is September, 2024. I always like to get my stats from Esther. She always lets me know what's going on within the business. And September, we carried out 80 quotes, so 8-0. We had 24 of those except currently. We have eight of those people who are currently sat in undecided, so we could win those back round. We have 27 of those people in no response, so which means that we've not heard back from them. And we've had 12 of those people that tell us that we're too expensive. Now, you can't win every job, but it's important for me to discuss how we get our work, where it comes from. We do not do any Google ads. I do not use any Google analytics, and we do not buy in any leads from lead generation companies. So all of our quotes come from organic leads, from recommendations, estate agents, people who have used us in the past. And it's quite easy for us to get these figures on how we're performing with the business because we use iMove and iMove tells us our performance. So it makes it a lot easier to understand where you're going well and where you're not going well and where you need to spend money and where you don't need to spend money. So iMove has been a godsend for us in that sense. So George's new role is called the BDM. So he is now the business development manager. And part of that position is opening new doors for the business, reaching out to different areas, opening different parts of the business for us. We've already opened another leg of the business, which is fine art removals. So that's already on the website if you wanted to go and check that out. Um, we want to start hitting different areas. We also want to look at pushing more people through the ranks at Warren's Removals. We're converting another removals man into a lorry driver shortly as well. George is also in charge of everything operational, so the vehicles again. So we've shifted a lot of things around to make it work, but I know that it's the right decision for us and we're really, really excited to have him back. George, wait up, mate. Right, I'm back after about six months of being away. I'm, I've been off traveling the world, but now I am back. Warren has very kindly given me a brand new role, uh, a business development role. Um, thankfully, I've got lots of exciting new ideas as well as exciting new marketing ideas. Really, really looking forward to showing you guys what we have on offer. 
George, George, did you know this episode is sponsored by iMove? The one thing I didn't realise about getting into this industry was how much time you have to spend at your desk. Emails, following up on leads, client bookings, sending quotes, generating invoices. All this stuff can be a little stressful. Hello? I'm sorry, Warren. Just went to make you after the move today. Yep, that was me with our eye move. Oh, hi, Paul. Yeah, no problem. I'll see you in about an hour. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Converting leads into bookings. Automatically sending quotes and generating invoices keeping on track of all your moves and your storage clients. All of this plus so much more. All that's now taken care of with iMove. With iMove, I never have to worry about following up my leads, chasing payments, and I will never miss another move. Okay, so some new things that we have updated with iMove and some cool things to speak about is the builder. So the builder is when you can upload your own documents, you can customize them to your needs to make them stand out. Uh, the email template builder, which is the same kind of thing, but as an email template, so you can create hyperlinks, you can create nice snazzy email templates to pull the customer in and hopefully they book with you. And another one is a new relationship that we've just built with Blink Payments, which means you can now get a payment from your customer without any friction by clicking on a link. So lots of cool things arriving on iMove. Okay, so we are gonna play a quick game. Who has got the best reaction times in Warren's removals? And Tash is going first. Here we go. Okay. Oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> what did she get? Some of that. 23 centimeters. Next up is George. Here we go. Let's give it a go. Fingers out, you're right handed. Open up, open up. No. Open, open. <laughs> Ready? Oh, 18 oh, centimeters, ah. 18, well done. Fingers out there. Ah. Oh. 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 Don't, don't. I've got a 16, 16. Here we go, Lewis. Ready? Yep. Ah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Right there. Right there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you got 10. You got 10. You got 10. Okay, so new section on Warren's Removals TV. Me and George will always be delivering each other a fact, a business fact. So I've got a fact and so has George. 
I don't know George's and George doesn't know mine. I'm gonna let you go first. Okay, thank you. All right. So my fun fact of the day, <laughs> my fun business fact of the day. Yeah. You know FedEx, like the shipping company? Yeah. Lovely, massive in the, in the States. Um, but the founder um, of FedEx back in the day, um, the company suffered some massive financial trouble. Um, I think they lost 26 million in, in about two years. Yeah. Um, but they were literally down to their last few thousand dollars. So the founder took the last, I think it was $5,000, yeah. flew to Las Vegas and gambled that, uh, successfully gambled it, I think left with about $27,000, um, gambled it on blackjack. And that $27,000 was put towards the, one of the outstanding bills, which I think was $24,000. And then I kept the company afloat um, to where it is today. And obviously it's absolutely <laughs> mega now. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. took it to Vegas. He took the, I think it was the last $5,000. Yeah, you would have to, you know, double check that, but I'm almost certain it's true. <laughs> yeah, the last 5,000, took it to Vegas. Yeah. Um, in, in gambling spirit and just, just put it on blow up, gambled blackjack. Um, and, and, and yeah. what, what are they valued at today? Do oh, we know? Well, I don't know that. Have we got anyone in the back office that can search for us? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, whilst, whilst you're searching for their value today, I'm going yeah. to ask you a quick question. Go on then. So as most of uh, our viewers, well, all of our viewers will be watching this on yeah. YouTube. My one is about YouTube. So I would like to ask you, to guess how many hours I've uploaded onto YouTube every single minute. Every minute? Yeah. Not every hour, right, okay. Well, it's gonna be a lot. There's gotta be millions and millions and millions, if not, well, probably billions of people now uploading video. Yeah. Um, That's a so good I'm, point, actually. Seven billion people in the world. How many people do we think are on YouTube? At least. Well, there's got to be a few billion on YouTube yeah, with accounts, yeah, yeah. but with those the ones that are actually uploading, it's got to be a few hundred million, if not a billion. Yeah. Who's just uploaded a video? Yeah. So I'm going to go with 200 hours. A minute? Yeah. No. Higher? Lower? Higher. 400. Close. 500. 500. Is it? 500 hours. I've uploaded no every way. single minute on YouTube. That is crazy. Okay, I've got, how much do you think FedEx is worth today? I'm gonna go with 66 billion. Billion? Yeah. And then that, no, I don't know. I'm gonna go with 65 billion. It's actually 67, I think. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a couple of cheaters here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well done. Thanks um, for that, mate. Yeah, really thanks. interesting. See you later. Yeah. See you. Okay, just wanted to talk about the big move that we carried out around about five, six weeks ago. We moved the legendary Phil Foden, plays for Manchester City and England. Um, a lot of people have asked me how I land a move like this. Uh, it's quite easy actually, it came from a recommendation. It came from his best mate, Morgan Gibbs, who plays for Nottingham Forest and England now, just had the England call up. Uh, so a great recommendation there. It come very last minute. At the time I was on holiday when they messaged me. So I cut the holiday short. I got back, made sure that we get, could get the move done because it's an important move and very good for our profile. Um, the move itself took place over two days. Uh, we used five or six staff each day. So there was me, Luke, Danny, Rory, Ben and Jai. Uh, the move went amazing. Uh, everything went super smooth. Really happy with us in the end. For reference, Phil's got around about 12 million followers on Instagram. He didn't post about us, unfortunately. However, his wife did, and she's got 5 million followers. And we were lucky enough to make it into national papers as well. So we, we got us the story and the headline written in the Daily Star, the Sun, the Mirror, uh, Worcester, like local papers, plus Manchester News, etc. So it was a real big 
um, moment for us, especially getting so much publicity. So yeah, hopefully everybody enjoyed reading up on that. So boys, do you think you've improved since moving Phil Foden? Uh, Definitely. Point, <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to say a massive thank you to Becca and Phil. Thank you for putting your trust into our business. We hope we did you proud. If you are watching this, which I imagine you do every single month religiously, please recommend us to any future football players that are moving, especially if they play for Arsenal. Let him cut. Let him cook now! Let him cook! I said let him cook! Business tips and I am interested in your comments below please if you have found a best solution for you and your business. So this one for me is about when do you replace your vehicles because we still haven't mastered this. We average out about five, six years and then we start to see the van become problematic and then we start to sell it and look for another one. Is there a better way of doing things? We know that the bigger companies, Amazon, DPD, the big logistic companies, they replace their vans every three years. We've always struggled to do that because we get emotionally attached to the vans, but if you got a better idea, please let us know. And that's it for episode 30, guys. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. And as always, we will catch you next month. <laughs>